How we doing folks? My name is Chris Foster and I'm the video director for Fat Buddha Vision. We're committed to helping you stay in contact with your customers and clients during this time as best as we can. So I'm here today to give you a couple tips and tricks on how better to film things at home to get a more professional look and better stay in contact with your people. First thing we're gonna wanna do is find a window. Whenever I get on a set, the first thing I do is find where the lights are gonna go. And if I don't have a lot of control over those lights, the first thing I do is look for a window. That's a great place to start for any lighting. If you find you need more lights, you can use almost anything you have around the house. Lamps work well, overhead lights work well. If you find they're too harsh, go ahead and hang a sheet or a tablecloth in front of them and see how that does. The next thing we're gonna look for is a blank background. We don't want your viewer to be paying attention to anything but what you're saying and what you're trying to convey. So you don't want your background to be cluttered or distracting. In the event that you don't have a blank background right next to a window, you're gonna to wanna to sacrifice the background for the light. As long as your background isn't too cluttered or distracting, you should be just fine. And we want our videos to be lit as best as possible. If you're using a cell phone camera, you're gonna to wanna to put that camera pretty close to you. I can't suggest zooming on most phone cameras as the video comes out pretty grainy and it doesn't look as good as we would want it to. If you're using an iPhone, you're gonna to wanna to run your shoot in portrait mode. Those are the best camera settings that I've seen for any phone to get the most professional look. If you're using a laptop or a webcam, you're gonna to wanna to raise the camera up a little bit to be closer to eye level. It's a great way to get started on having a more palatable and easy to watch shot. If you're going for a more professional look, one easy way to do it is to follow the rule of thirds. What that means is we're gonna cut the screen two lines this way and two lines this way. And wherever we want the point of interest to be, we're gonna put on the intersection of those lines or on the lines themselves. If you have any questions or would like us to go over something that wasn't covered in the video today, don't hesitate to contact us. You can comment below, you can message, email, or call us. We're really easy to get a hold of, and we are definitely committed to helping you stay in contact with your customers and clients. We appreciate it, and thank you so much for your time. Everybody stay safe.